So first you come out on TV, and now you come out in real life too. God, Josh is such a tryhard. <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? Ah. So, today it looks like we're welcoming a new member to the LGBT community. And that person's name is Joshua Rush. Now, I'm actually a little bit late with this news. Um, because for those of you that don't know, sometimes I do tend to take you know kind of long breaks away from social media sometimes a few days sometimes over a week without really checking anything um i kind of like to do that sometimes you know when i catch myself being on twitter or instagram or whatever too much um i tend to kind of like to take a few days off maybe a week off just from from, from checking anything um so you know but i think i believe i'm only like a day or two late with this news so i'm not that late um, but yeah, so Josh came out as bisexual the other day, people. He is officially confirmed bisexual. So much for that theory that some of you guys came out with not too long ago with like the whole reason that Tyrus didn't kiss because maybe the actors weren't comfortable with it because they're not gay in real life. Now, granted, that theory was stupid anyways for a lot of reasons. And I understand that this is only one of the two actors, but I'm just I'm just saying that that theory is becoming even more stupid than it already originally was because of this news. So, yeah, but I'm not going to get too much into that, at least in this video. I might make another video talking about that because I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, <laughs> something that stuck out to me in one of his tweets, though, is how he said that despite playing an openly gay character on Disney Channel, it still took a lot for him to find the courage to come out himself. And that just really stuck out to me. I don't think he actually said this. I'm not sure if he has, but I personally think I can't. I mean, I can't help but think that playing an openly gay character um, on Disney Channel, I can't help but think that that had at least a little bit to do, at least a little bit to do with him being able to find the courage to finally come out and, and admit to the world that he is bisexual. Now, I could be wrong. Maybe, you know, maybe this had nothing to do with it at all, but I can't help but think it had at least something to do with it i can't help but think that it at least played a part and if it did that just makes me love andy mack even more because not only is it helping people other people around the world it's also helping the people that actually played the characters on the show maybe another reason for a season four perhaps but that's for another video we're not gonna get into that right now but you know i've always had a lot of respect for josh um you know, he, he, he has reached out to me before and uh, we have talked in private, which I really, really respect it because, you know, he didn't have to do that. He didn't have to reach out to me. He didn't have to tell me some things that I find fascinating that I didn't know about him. And I, actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, he I, I actually did ask him permission to be able to tell you guys this. I was actually I just remembered this, but I actually asked him this a long time ago if it was okay if I told him, if I told my fans some things that he told me. And he said, yes, that's fine, but I actually never made that video. I guess I'll say some of those things right now then, huh? Why not? But apparently, I thought that Sophia was the first person of the crew that started watching me because she was the first person that I noticed watching me from, from the show. But apparently, according to Josh, he was actually the first person that started watching me and he actually told Sophia about me so it was actually so really we have him to thank for Sophia finding out about me and liking my videos which I thought it I thought it was the other way around so 
I find that pretty fascinating, actually. But I'm not going to get into, you know, the whole conversation or whatever. But anyways, I've always had respect for Josh because he's always seemed like a cool dude. You know, I, 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 like, to, I, t I like to think that I have a pretty good judge of character when it comes to people. And Josh just strikes me as one of those good people, one of those people that I tend to like and get along with. So I'm proud of the guy, you know, um, and I wish nothing but good things and success for him going forward but anyways people let me know what you guys thought about this and um yeah that's pretty much all i gotta say so i'm about to get out of here until next time